Okay, in this video we're going to look at CRCs, Cyclic Redundancy Checks, and we'll apply that to embedded programming. So when you send data from point A to point B, you want to ensure that the data received at point B is the same as the original data sent from point A. So how can we do that? Well, we could use CRC checks. So our CRC checksum is generated using the data and sent along in the data packet. Now the receiver can check to see if the data packet is valid using this CRC checksum. So next we'll look at an example. Okay, here's an example where we could use CRCs. So in the diagram you can see a radio transmitter on the left and it has 16 switches. And when the switches are in the up position, that's a, that's a 1. And when it switches in the down position, that'll be a digital 0. And on the right we have a receiver with 16 LEDs. So what we want to do is send the status of the 16 switches by radio over to the receiver and the LEDs will light up according to the status of the switches. So what we do, we send the data by radio which will be F881, that's the position of the switches, and then we send a checksum, 1CED, along with the data packet. So now the receiver can take that CRC and check to see if the data received is valid, then it could activate the, the, uh, the corresponding LEDs. Okay, before we build our CRC generator, uh, we need a generator polynomial. And there's a lot of them out there, there's a lot of standards, but this is the one I picked here. So it's x to the 16 plus x to the 12 plus x to the 5 plus 1. And that's actually used in the X modem protocol and that will generate a 16-bit CRC. So the first thing we do with that polynomial, we, we expand it and we bring out all the coefficients. And you can see there in the second line, I brought out all the 1 and 0 coefficients. And if you bring that down, if you bring them all down, it forms a 17-bit binary number. And the first thing we do is we truncate the most significant bit and we're left with 16 bits. And if you change that into a hex, it works out to 1, 0, 2, 1. So that will be our generator polynomial. So we divide the message polynomial, that's our data, by the generator polynomial, which we just saw above here, 1, 0, 2, 1. And the remainder is used to form the CRC bits. So here's our data, F881. That's our message. And we divide it by the 1, 0, 2, 1 hex. That's our generator. And to do that in a microcontroller, we use XOR, exclusive OR, and shift operations. So next we'll have a look to see how we could do that. Okay, next we're going to look on how we could generate a CRC with a microcontroller. So the first thing we do is we assign a 16-bit register to become our CRC register, which we see here. And initialize it all to zeros. Then we assign an 8-bit register to become our data register, as you can see here and we put our first byte into that data register which is F8. Then we have a look at the least significant bit of the data register and have a look at the least significant bit of the CRC register and if they're the same then we do a shift right on the CRC register and we go to the next bit on the data register we do the same thing we compare it to the least significant bit of the CRC register. Now if they're different then we do a shift right on the CRC and we exclusive OR it with the hex uh, value 1021 and then put that, put that uh, value back into the CRC register. And we keep on moving along the data register, always comparing it to the least significant bit of the CRC register. And if they're different, we do a shift right of the CRC and exclusive uh, OR it with 1021 hex and put, the, put that value back into the CRC register. And if they're the same, then we just do a shift CRC right. And we do that for the whole 8 bits of the data register. Then we put the next data uh, byte into the data register and we do the same thing. Now we could do this for multiple bytes until our data is ended. Then whatever we have left in a CRC register will be our 16-bit CRC checksum. Okay, I have my CRC program running on my single board computer and we can enter in some data. So the first data byte will be F8. Now we'll do the shift and exclusive OR um, calculation on F8. So CRC. Now we'll enter the second byte, 8.1. We'll do the same calculation. 
Now we'll have a look at the checksum register. So there's our CRC checksum, 1CED. So you would send the bytes F881 along with 1CED, and at the receive end, uh, you do the same calculation, and if you, re and if you get 1CED as your checksum, then you know your data is valid.